Hello? <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> Man, I'm supposed to be playing a horror game tonight. It's the perfect time. But I'm not feeling it lately. <laughs> Also, I think it's nice to take a little break from playing scary games all the time. <laughs> so... Let's continue with Ace Attorney. <laughs> Kitty, no, don't... My cat thinks I'm playing with her. No, Kitty, just sit down. <laughs> Hello Arte Prensia, makasih udah join. <laughs> okay, the last time um I think the last stream I managed to finish the second chapter. So, I'm going to continue the next one, which is turn about samurai. I'll play this game until the very first court session. And then if it's uh if it's still too early to finish the stream, I might play another game. Maybe something short. Uh, I don't know, we'll see about that later on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to begin. From chapter start. Now you have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai, the pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. <laughs> I didn't catch that. See you in hell, a evil magistrate. Ooh. Looks like a very vicious fight. The warrior swords gleams in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. Dark Messenger returns. Sorry, I have to check if the in-game sound is captured. I'm so we doing okay. This is the Nintendo DS version. If any, if anyone isn't familiar, <laughs> that rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa! Stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> of course I'm here. What was that surreal show you were watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. <laughs> Phoenix is old. <laughs> young like how young? Oh, 10 years old? Then, what the heck are you doing getting all excited? You know what? Now, now, don't shame her. <laughs> Even adults are valid for watching a um, children's show, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See, I'm a teen, not a eunuch. <laughs> oh, burn. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. He's only 24? Wow. He's already a, a lawyer. That's actually kind of impressive. Then watch it with me. It's really cool. And it's really popular. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I have to move the, win the window. <laughs> When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, still Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Rams. <laughs> you said it right, Maya. <laughs> Phoenix is such a boomer. <laughs> and he's only 24. 
Well, the steel summer is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Halo Abi, makasih udah join. Gimana kabarnya? Arta Francia juga gimana kabarnya? <laughs> Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the right and co law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> so he hasn't gotten any new case yet. He'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hey, tadi aku main red out. Ternyata beda sama yang gara dulu main game baru ya. Oh, apakah gamenya udah gamenya udah di update kali ya? Red out yang pertama kan? Tadi aku mau ngecek VOD-nya karena aku nggak sempet nonton stream kamu, tapi kayaknya nggak ada. Apa udah ada? <laughs> Phoenix. Don't be so pessimistic. <laughs> I mean, he did uh, manage to win a big case. It's kind of... um. I kind of don't believe that he doesn't get any more big clients. <laughs> it was quite high profile. A, pro a lawyer was killed. Awalnya nggak kayak dulu sih. Ingat kok kalau yang dulu ketemu pocong itu. Oh, jadi beda ya. Kalau seingatku sih karena dread dread out itu yang awal-awal pertama kayaknya masih early access mungkin ya karena jadi belum gitu selesai gamenya. Hello, this is Phoenix. Nick, Maya, what? Still early. It's a steel samurai. Steel samurai got arrested. What? Huh, you mean the guy on that show? Yes, they're saying that the steel samurai killed a villain. What? Isn't that what he's supposed to do? <laughs> Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. <laughs> no, Phoenix. She meant the actual person, the actor. <laughs> no, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He skewered a villain with his samurai spear. Oh. Oh, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. They better get your ass to that to there, Phoenix. <laughs> Maya is here watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers played the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai Warrior of New Old Tokyo. was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the, the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil, evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Now that's weird. Usually, um... Actors use props to to film, right? There's no way that actors use actual weapons. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over, the world is over. <laughs> Maya. It's okay, this is our next big, big case. I'm going to win this one too. <laughs> Yes, right and call our offices. Nick, it's a seal samurai. Oh, yes, yes, of course, we'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go where? They have the seal samurai down in detention. 
So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. This is a very high profile case too. No way in hell Phoenix didn't want, don't get paid for that, right? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. Does she want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? <laughs> My money's on sightseeing. I mean, you, you two need the money for the rent anyway. <laughs> May as well check out the, the client first. You don't have enough information to make a case yet. It's admitted, you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. have anything to present yet. <laughs> Alright, to the detention center. God damn it, look at my cat biting my hand. <laughs> She's such a naughty cat. Oh, is this the steel samurai? I guess it I it I guess he's kinda, kinda looks scary. What's wrong, Maya? It's him! In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Willpower's our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder at least once, maybe twice. Now, don't be judgmental like that. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I know why you think that he did it. It's just because he looks scary, is it? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you saying? God dang it. That's my cat again. Okay, one moment. Okay. <laughs> Cats are so hyperactive at night. <laughs> She's running around the room, climbing stuff. <laughs> oh. Happened? Yes? Something wrong? No, oh, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know, you're disappointed, aren't you? Disappointed? Oh no, oh no. No, it's okay, this is the real me. When I got the part of the steel samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in pub public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know, I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the steel samurai now. <laughs> Kitty? Kitty? <laughs> what? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't do it. No, 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 that's that's also jumping to conclusion. We don't know yet, Maya. <laughs> okay, tell me what happened. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened? Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The, ca the cast had come down to Global Studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 o'clock that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 o'clock in the afternoon, but when 5 o'clock came around and the staff gathered at the studio, 
the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I that the steel samurai uses as a weapon. Explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Wow, Phoenix really didn't bother to research his client first. <laughs> Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. <laughs> hey, who's new to this? It's alright, really? The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the street of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Oh no, he's crying. Doesn't seem like a bad dude. Be honest, I guess Maya was right. Neo of Tokyo, who comes up with these names? Has Phoenix never seen sci, sci fi movies? <laughs> Something like a cyberpunk movies or video games? <laughs> now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to studios at 9 o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal, rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. And when I woke up, it was after 5 o'clock. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. Okay, so he doesn't really have any alibi. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Hey, Global Studios. <laughs> Why are you so excited? <laughs> I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. Okay. So, going to the global studios then. Wow, so this is where they made the Steel Samurai show? Awesome, aren't you excited? <laughs> hey, you there. You want in, you go through me. Oh, sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm a security. And it's my job to make you s make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Youth today, something horrible happens. Oh, oh, okay. She's just ranting. I can't keep up. <laughs> and we, we really are lawyers, though. <laughs> um, Nick, will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> Listen when you are being spoken to, youth today. I guess we can get something out of her, so let's just ask her. So what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... Oh, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, theory. Wow. This 
place has really gone downhill, you know? But 10 years ago? No, that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then too, he was. Hammer? So it's not the... Will? It's not Will Powers? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. So I guess he kind of got de demoted? Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. We don't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watch watching will lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Kinda sounds like the victim, victim has more motive than the, uh, the client. I don't know. A kind of person was Jack Hammer. A kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will, will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite, Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Okay, so he really did get demoted because he had an accident maybe? That's kind of harsh. Well, it's the showbiz I guess. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 5 o'clock when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 o'clock and 2.30. And the murder took place. Okay, so it was only Will Powers. That person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh yeah. Something doesn't add up here. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer, you can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here, move along. I'm actually over here at Mr. Power's request. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. Oh, we need a letter? This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Don't really have anything. Yeah. So I should go back to the detention center. Hello, how was the studio? Real thing I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a sus you're a suspect. <laughs> I guess he isn't that scary. He's not that scary looking. Okay. Your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Just now you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says saw you he heading towards the scene of the crime. 
What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping. I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. I know. Sorry. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe security lady only thought she saw me. But did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Neither of them seems to be lying, to be honest. Yeah, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible, she caught me suspicious looking. <laughs> Is it because the way she's dressed? <laughs> this again. She also got accused of being weird because of the way she's dressed <laughs> in the previous case. Yes, actually she said the same thing. Thing to me before. Take off that mask for her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write up a letter for Molly requesting my representation? Of course. How did you not start with this? <laughs> I guess that shows that Phoenix is uh, is actually a new lawyer. Like he doesn't really have much experience. <laughs> he should have gotten a letter first. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Is there anything else? to present her something. Present, present her their letter. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold childish scrawl. If Powers requested the security lady. Do you think he would entrust his fate to youth set of such unreliable appearance? Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left room here. Um, but only left from here towards the studio. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. Oh, Gumshoe is already in there. <laughs> the good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. There were maps in the security guard station. Oh, hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. <laughs> 50 cents. Aw, do I really have to pay this? Guide map to Global Studios. Touch the check button to view details. Okay, main game. This is where we are. So this is the right. Is it? Yeah, employee area. Studio. The dressing room is in the employee area. Okay. Let's go. Is it? Uh, outside studio one. Oh, there's Gumshoe. <laughs> Aren't you that murderer from the other day? <laughs> He's talking about Maya. <laughs> oh, he's that confused detective. <laughs> hey pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out of the window. Um, so yeah, it's not my problem that he lost the case. <laughs> Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. 
he's probably doing fine. Edgeworth is just being shady. <laughs> he's just a very shady lawyer. Oh, um, detective. I think you hurt his feelings. Oh no, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? <laughs> um, well... We're on this case too, pal. <laughs> it's like, not again, this... These two brats again. <laughs> hey, you can't just go saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll say he's a character already. Right. <laughs> he's so adorable. <laughs> so, how is your investigation going? Well, it's. Hey, I can tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report, the latest version, if you please. <laughs> Phoenix learned his lesson. <laughs> it's not about to get debated again. <laughs> Sorry about what happened last time, pal. This better be the up updated updated autopsy report. <laughs> Freaking Edgeworth. Okay. Let me see. Time of death. 10, 15 and 2.30 pm. Was pierced through the chest by a spear. Okay. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in the studio one. Now, the victim entered studio one at approximately 10 o'clock p.m. At that time, there was no other than the victim in the studio. Okay, so only the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 o'clock and 2.30. That person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, Bob. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. <laughs> Phoenix can be quite a, a little bit of an asshole too. <laughs> but that's what makes lawyers great, I guess. <laughs> About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my, ba my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Please badge. Yeah. Remember what Cora said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable, valuable evidence. Oh, what? What did she give him? What kind of evidence? Well, that photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. Okay, so she does have proof. But let's see what that proof is like. What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? I mean the one with the welcome sign? Oh, it's a security camera. So the security camera actually caught the killer. Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no. <laughs> Nikki has evidence. We're finished. 
on me. For someone with heart, heart proof, he doesn't look too happy. So it's probably not that decisive. Wonder why? What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> We'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. Thank you, Gumshoe. <laughs> Look, the security lady is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. She's not a cop, though. Is she? She's just a security guard. Yeah, and they're soft enough, she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Paris is guilty yet? Ugh. He had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. I asked for that photo though? <laughs> Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm. Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know? Oh, just to the left? From here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. Okay. This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer. He went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I see, the only one I've seen go through here between one o'clock and two thirty was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look, got a good look at him too. If he's not the one, if he's not the one that did it. I don't know who it is. <laughs> Maybe it was you. <laughs> good one, Sunny. He thinks I was joking. <laughs> It's true though, how about her alibi? The only evidence that we have right now is her testimony saying that she saw him and then the photograph. I mean, she could manipulate it, right? Was the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was. Past tense? Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil magistrate, it's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Yeah, so far, it looks like the victim has more motive to do a crime <laughs> than the defendant. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through that gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home. I do. Do you have anything to present her? Is this? What's that? You giving that to me? Okay, no. Okay. Nothing else. Nothing else. Area. Nick, 
But this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, there's Power's dressing room. No one's here this no one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Don't steal anything though. <laughs> Probably, she probably gets too excited. Okay, examine. There's a sign on the dressing room door, Mr. Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. Anything else? Oh, I can examine it. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Is this important? T-bone steak, that would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. <laughs> yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? <laughs> Is that important, the T-bone steak? Oh, let's check this. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to live that way, be my guest. Right. Hey, I'm not a kid. She's not a kid. She's a teen. <laughs> yes. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Anything else? What is this bike doing here? Looks like one of those electric powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? What else can I check? Hold on. Check the ladder. What about this? Okay. I have checked this. Okay, the grade. Backdrop. Bicycles. I can't check any of the item here. What about this? Okay. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick, you know a lot about the industry. And what else would they keep in a film studio? <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. What the hell is my cat doing? <laughs> She's climbing stuff. She likes to climb stuff. <laughs> she likes to climb up my uh, cupboard. No, it's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn at least. Wait, look, samurai soda. Hey, try these. Ladies first. <laughs> it's just a soda. It's okay, Nick. Is this a window? A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I cannot see inside. Okay, for private privacy purposes. Can I get inside the room? Okay. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping, or at least this is where this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's, he's telling the truth for his sake. Okay, time to check out this place. Examine. Okay, the window is locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. Looks like someone was sleeping here. 
Jimmy Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Um, what else can I? What is this? Is this lunch? There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. <laughs> you just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a se separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? How does she stay so thin though? <laughs> she likes to eat. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. <laughs> Again. Stop roasting the way she dressed, okay? <laughs> There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. Woogie Woogie? <laughs> Nick, try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? She's a big fan. <laughs> I am kinda like Samurai movies. Kinda. <laughs> Is there anything in here that's useful? It feels, it feels like we're just snooping around and not finding anything. This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. <laughs> she already opened it. An employee card key. That must be Powers. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. <laughs> okay, uh, he probably doesn't mind. He's our client anyway. Let's check this. Card key for Studio Employees. Grants entry into Studio One. Okay. Is there anything else? Girls have mirrors like these in the dressing room. I see my hair is still nice and spiky, just how I like it. <laughs> okay, there's nothing else, I suppose. Go to the studio one. Oh, he's not here. Apparently, they have Mr. Powers in questioning. Hmm, right. Look how that camera takes a picture automatically whenever someone walks by. And it took a picture of Will Powers. I have to ask him about that photograph. Oh well, let's try again later. So, where else to go? I have to go home? What's going on, Nick? Powers said he was sleeping in his dressing room. But now there's a photo of him going to the studio? Don't look at me, how should I know? Maybe she'll give us some food. What to do? What do you think? That photo the detective was talking about is the problem here. Well, that's hard to say without seeing the actual photo ourselves. But if it is Powers in that photo, his alibi is shot. One person went to the scene of the crime before the murder took place. And there's a photograph to prove it. I guess it makes sense that the person is the killer then. What do we do, Nick? Maybe there was someone else who could have gone to the scene other than ours? Let's take a look. Maybe the security lady missed some someone. 
one thing's for sure, if there are any clues, they'll be in that studio. Yeah, there's nothing to do. I think I should go back to the studio again. This something. Oh, maybe I can present the card key? You should tell me about this, ma'am. Oh, that? Isn't that a studio card key? You better watch it. Scene of a murder is no place for sightseeing. I'll be taking that. Hand it over. Wait, no, that's mine. Look, I don't have a card key to the studio, see? I want to go pay my respects to Jack Hammer where he died. What? No way. This is our client's card key. <laughs> well, you'll just have to wait then. Is that it? No other um, dialogue lines? Outside studio one? Employee area? Hey, detective, take a look at this. What's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't show him that, he'll come confiscate it. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to show it off. Okay. Anything else? Um, detective, any ideas about this? Look, I don't got time to look at every little trinket you got, okay, pal? This is the autopsy report. <laughs> Same line? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything left to check in the employee area. I think I missed something. Dressing room? This maybe? Ah, it's the cosmetics. This is the lunch. I've checked the window, sofa. Table, the ra the clothing rack, and the vanity area. I don't know where else to go though. Mid game. I still the same thing. What's this? Oh, it's a vending machine. Can't check this. Oh, yeah, this is still the vending machine. I miss. Maybe I can examine this place. A computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching. Okay. Go that way. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Go to the right. Okay, the right is the employee area and the left is the studio. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. Okay, what about the gate? The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Anything else? Yeah, 
that's a computer. Oh, maybe I can check the one with the um, one where Gumshoe was. Yeah, let's examine that. Hey, there's a camera here. That's the, that's the security camera. It takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went where. There's a number plate on the camera. ST1307. Do I have to write this down? That must be the camera ID number. Okay. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to studio one, left to studio two. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it too. Oh, this is the studios too. So the way is blocked off. The gumshoe with some, the path to the left. Looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh yeah, that, that way is kind of dangerous. Stay out now. There's nothing down there anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now though. Okay, so the studio isn't used. This way? The entrance to Studio 1. This is a studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card kiwi board from the dressing room will work. Oh, it works. Okay. It opened. Okay, we're going to the studio one. The crime scene. <laughs> She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. <laughs> okay, move inside studio one, finally. Is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's it's so real. Well the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Thing that the police led us to the crime scene. <laughs> it's like a backdrop or a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai show. Okay, the prince ya, bye bye. Semoga, semoga tidurnya nyenyak ya. <laughs> Of course, that's a mountain, Neo Fujiyama. <laughs> okay. Doesn't the steel samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo, old Tokyo. Oh, it's new and old. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> this camera equipment. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Maya, I told you not to touch it. Okay, there. Now someone is going to yell at us. <laughs> um, sorry, my partner is kind of... You know. <laughs> you know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? To me, I'm an assistant here. I have with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We are lawyers, lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're 
WPs, WPs people. WP, oh, Will Powers. I get it. I don't envy, I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? <laughs> Will Powers. It never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. Okay, um, I have to check the other stuff first, and then I'm going to talk to her. Look, a ladder. That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded minded cultural assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, this girl is out there. <laughs> Phoenix just got schooled. <laughs> By Maya, out of all people. I mean, she spent most of her life in a mountain. <laughs> hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real life megaphone. I told you, Maya, stop touching things. You already get yelled at by the lady. <laughs> this girl is more trouble than I thought. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lied with tape. <laughs> His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Yeah, that is kind of strange. The police should have checked if the blood is really on the costume, so I don't get any of that statement from Gumshoe, so... Okay, could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now, and yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see, neat. Okay. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. VP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw VP go into his dressing room. Hey, someone did s did see a uh, Will Powers to his room. So his alibi could be legit that he was sleeping the whole time. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I won't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of a girl do you think I am? What kind? No, I'm sure you're a fine girl. <laughs> Phoenix. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers as a bit of alibi. I almost read uh, alibi as ability. <laughs> English is very hard. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If Weepy was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry, I know you're busy. Well, not really. <laughs> not really. Actually, there's, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! 
Maya is so into it now. Well, I don't know about that, but that day is afternoon. I sense someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. Uh, the only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Oh. What? Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, would that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks, that helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Sensing someone. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Ah. Can I present this to her? Okay, so nothing. What? You're still here? Really, you look as though you have seen a ghost. Uh, we need to talk about something. <laughs> What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. Came here at 1 o'clock p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Uh oh. Did you watch it? Did you actually see anything? <laughs> who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Ugh. <laughs> Alright, you better tell me on, tell me quick, you spiky haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do. Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One? Her, she's not even a full time employee. All you young'uns are like that nowadays. <laughs> she's, she went on another rant. She left. She got so angry that she just ran away. <laughs> this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Okay, time to snoop around and get get, get a good look of that computer. <laughs> okay, the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe you can see that photo of Powers with this computer. It's bird noises. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Trying to move the window so I can get a good look at that. But this moment is not operating. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Absolutely. <laughs> you know how to work these things, Nick? Uh, looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. Mom, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Okay, please enter the, the number of the security camera. 
that I wrote this down. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Hey, what do we have here? Huh. Yeah, this is not Will Powers. It's just someone in the Steel Samurai costume. <laughs> well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as an evidence. Okay, that's why the she was also kind of gloomy. <laughs> he didn't look too happy. Hmm, something's printed on the back. October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Okay, where's the number one? Where's the photo number one? Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Only this one? Hey Nick, can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? We'll put the security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. <laughs> hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? Yeah, we can use this use this for our ammunition on the trial. <laughs> Don't show this evidence just yet. It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. <laughs> why? You could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was a joke, so are we done for today? Okay, I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it would be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady? She is kind of shady though, and that's the only uh, the only photo that got printed. But where's the rest of the photos? Also, Phoenix can definitely argue that Will Powers wasn't the one wearing the Samurai Warrior costume. Samurai Steel Samurai Samurai Warrior? <laughs> it's a game. Steel Samurai. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready on all Edgeworth again. Okay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I have to check. I'm not muted. <laughs> last last stream, I was muted for a few minutes, and I didn't realize that. <laughs> I have to constantly check. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed his fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during this trial will all point to this crime. I see. Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Okay. Hello, Gumshoe. Detective, you will briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Okay. 
To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studios. See? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate. See? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio 1. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15, there were only three people here. Okay, the victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Real Powers, and a young woman, the, produ the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Okay, then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to the studio one. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady go to the, got to the guard station. Now we jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio 1 to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's, that's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? I think I'm good. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. <laughs> Is it really a spear though? It's a prop for a TV show, it shouldn't be a real spear. The spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Do people actually use real spears while I'm um, filming? Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask the one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Okay. Will the witness declare her name? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please. If an edge word just taken aback. <laughs> oh dear, you know it for you, you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma. Your name, please. Since Edgeworth has a bit of a trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldback, dearie. Wendy Oldback. So just call me grandma. <laughs> Okay, enough. This is irrelevant. Objection! Objection! <laughs> I, I object to the witnesses talk to us. <laughs> Objection sustained! <laughs> the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. <laughs> Let's just get to the good part, theory. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Yeah, just get on with it, lady. <laughs> okay, and to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know yourself, dearie. <laughs> no flirting with the judge, ma'am. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> See, Phoenix is kind of an asshole, so... <laughs> Okay. Um, 
on the day of the murder, I arrive, I, I arrive at the guard station at 1 p.m. Okay, poor old Hammer and the rest of and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. Well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one one o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five o'clock. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by at walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Okay, um, she has been sitting on there the whole time. And the only person that she saw was, uh... Someone in the Steel Samurai costume. Uh, but did she not see the victim went to the studio? Or she just assumed that maybe the victim already already go to the studio before she got to the station. Okay, hang on. <laughs> you saw the defendant. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Okay, on the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been being run through. Okay, she only got to the station at 1 o'clock. Was at the main gate from then until 5 p.m. Let me check again. happened at 2.30. Seems to me because a certain man walked right by. Nick, doesn't she seem like she's enjoying this a little too much? Went back, so I'm gossiping about other people's misfortunes. Ugh, can't she get her kicks somewhere else? in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again, it was him. Okay. So this is it. Objection! You can't really say for sure that it's him. Just because someone that someone is wearing steel samurai costume. Let me get this straight old <laughs> old bag. <laughs> Miss Olpak, you've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Seal Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Olpak, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course, didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? Oh, yeah. Edgeworth is flustered, so we really got it. <laughs> um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I know that, I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing of you that, Miss Witness. <laughs> He's having trouble calling her old back, apparently. 
However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is is the real powers, do you? Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. Uh oh. <laughs> what even Edgeworth is surprised? <laughs> Why are you surprised, buddy? Did you not prep her? The prosecution would like to ask the the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Ma'am, this is a trial. <laughs> anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. No hiding the evidence. Do you want to get perjury? Told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. You didn't even give it a second look. Oh no, it's the gumshoe. <laughs> It's because of Gumshoe. Wow, oh, went back. I still have even Edge were speechless. She is good. Okay, let's hear about it then. What does she have? I never say anything. I don't mean my, my mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw power strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was powers. Happy? That still doesn't mean anything, though. So, he had sprained his ankle? Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. There's got to be hiding something unprecedented as she speaks. Okay. I saw power strip and fall. Was she there? I thought she wasn't there, uh, in the morning. It was just the actor and the assistant. Right? Rip and fall? Yes, and the thing he's supposed to be the steel samurai, what a laugh. So power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You help make it better. I kiss it where it hurt. Okay, let's just skip that part. <laughs> where was the assistant then? Yeah. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. Okay, you may continue. He broke the pop. Sure did, his own samurai spear. His samurai spear, the murder weapon? Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in a court report. Okay, so the, the spear was broken. Right? Just going to press everything. <laughs> Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Does the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Yeah, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Yeah. Yeah, where is it? Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We are looking though. So that's another evidence that's missing. I think it's too early to, for a trial. <laughs> that's a, that's kind of a big evidence. Because um, there wasn't any blood at the crime scene either. And... Phoenix just assumed that the blood may be absorbed by the clothes, but the clothes, the, yeah, the clothes wasn't found. 
I think. Or is it the costume of the seal samurai? Is it, is it different? Am I thinking way too ahead? <laughs> the witness did see the seal samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Real Powers. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you are you sure you're sure or not? Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Real Powers. Yeah, we have a point. It could be anyone. It could be anyone that can fit to that costume. I also wonder if someone else not caught on the camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider all that possibility also. Oh, Edgy has something. <laughs> then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Okay. The continuation. Is it now? The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 pm. True. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Is it right you might cross-examine the witness? Hmm. You have to use the photo, maybe? This photo is number two. What about before you go to the guard station? You mean before one, one o'clock? Why? Everyone was in the employee area before then. Okay, so she was also there. And I love. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio have to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let them have it, edgy boy. <laughs> edgy boy. <laughs> Even Edgeworth doesn't like that nickname. <laughs> oh, the went back, sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, went backs have a way of skipping over important details after all. But for that matter, entirely forget them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Okay. Time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30. Okay. They had or have seen them. How do you know that? Uh, did I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. <laughs> oh, Gumshoe! Gumshoe keeps. Gumshoe just keeps jeopardizing himself. <laughs> you see, Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officers' fondness of donuts. Maybe I can present this? Yeah. Let me try. Hold on. Get this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, Siri, Sony. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. 
And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. <laughs> right, anyway, it's also true that a computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, you might have an opening. Dude, just let me finish. <laughs> the very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words. Yeah, this is photo number two. So where's the number one? Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Yeah, where's the number one? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be the photo number one if it really was the only photo? Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. That there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have, who could have erased the data for the other photo? It's only her. She she's the only one who has the access. <laughs> Someone with access to the security lady herself. You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. Okay, but the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Well, yes, that's why it would seem to me. Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh oh. <laughs> I don't understand this new fangled computer is all oh, don't pretend I know you did something. Um edgy boy, help. <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Some help you are you're a whipper snapper too. Whipper snapper? Something the matter, Mr. Old Miss Oldback? Ah, that's right. I just remembered something. I guess. Someone else passed by the gates, someone other than the seagull samurai. Oh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Okay, so... Why did you say so? It's not good to lie under the oath. You're in, you're on trial here. You wanna get served with perjury? <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I figure out any photos that aren't super suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. He's old back. This is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say it was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> okay. After I finish my god duties, I have one other important job. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer. I throw out any photos that are suspicious looking. Okay, she did throw out one photo. What photo is that? Couldn't she think of that a little earlier? That's the old windbag maneuver. <laughs> Might be a useful tactic to remember for use in my future career as a windbag. <laughs> Let's find out more about this erased photo. I guess, uh, Phoenix just have to press her. Well, who in the heck was in the photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? 
Exile Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the her rehearsal from gosh nowhere. They're always they're always hanging about. One was there that day. Okay, so there is someone else. Wait a second, did you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grid has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. Wow. <laughs> Did no one ever think of sealing that grid? It sounds dangerous. Like, what if there's a uh, dangerous sands coming in? Yeah, dangerous sands. Or strangers. <laughs> they come in through the drain? I told you, they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Vapor snappers. Okay, they're just kids. So that's why she threw out the photo. So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was a seal samurai, dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well we see his type there every day. Can't stop them, can't catch them. A boy in second or third grade? I assume it would be hard if not impossible for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Now, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy that was there, that makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. <laughs> I like to take a 5 minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Yeah, I would be mad too if I'm the judge and none of the uh, none of the sides were preparing well. <laughs> Shouldn't have gone to the court yet. We should have did more investigation. Tell me straight, were you really in your des dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio, I was sleeping. I was... So who was the sales samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a, sam steal a steel samurai costume. Um, I mean the fanboys would want to do that. <laughs> so where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. Oh, you're the only likely suspect right now. What are we going to do? First we play mo for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can't get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. I mean, Phoenix can easily turn it around to the uh, to the security guard lady. I mean, the whole case is hinges on her witness, and she has proven herself not to be too so reliable and believable. <laughs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. We'll now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. 
Mr. Edgeworth will represent the prosecution thoughts on this matter. Okay, the prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? Oh, absolutely, I disagree. <laughs> the defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Oh, sorry. Murder. Interst interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. <laughs> okay. Oh, the assistant or the security lady? I'm leaning towards the security lady. I'm gonna try that. It was a security lady, Wendy, all back. The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There's only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, all back. Weeper snapper. <laughs> That's a new word. I have never heard that word before. <laughs> With the snapper. Is this true, Old Back? Old Back? That's Miss Old Back to you. <laughs> Even the judge just cannot hold it. <laughs> Miss Old Back was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself, in other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume Then slip into the studio one, the scene of the murder Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Come on judge, it's to conceal herself obviously <laughs> Simple your honor, she wants to get away with the murder <laughs> She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture if she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. You see, excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here, Sherlock Holmes too, baby. <laughs> okay, I just realized Phoenix said Sherlock Holmes here. For anyone doesn't know, um, the Ace Attorney series, the recent one. The recent entry is uh, takes place in Japan in the past and in England, <laughs> where the protagonist has to work with Sherlock Holmes himself. <laughs> That's odd, isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Yeah. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? <laughs> <laughs> oh? What? Interesting! Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something! It's my move. Maybe now's my chance to take this whole way. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldback's action on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Yeah. That did it. Now Winback is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. It's only a great schooler though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? 
doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in 10 second stops. <laughs> mm, your thoughts, Mr. White? Right? Yeah, I don't think that boy is a killer. How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day? I have proof. <laughs> we do? <laughs> Indeed, then let's see this proof, Mr. Right. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder. Which is it? I don't actually know. <laughs> This just caught me off guard. Um, is it the card key maybe? Card key for studio employees. Okay, let's take that! The scene of the murder as we all know is studio one. However, you need a card key to enter studio one. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, would the witness there care to comment on this? I mean, it could be sneaking from the grade. <laughs> but I still don't think it's the boy. It has to be someone else. The wind back, speechless. This has got to be the f to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Sir Edgeworth, please find out more. Find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old back. <laughs> Edgy doesn't care. <laughs> then the prosecution will look further into this old back before you continue. That is, uh, that is all. The court is adjourned. Oh! I knew it's too soon. <laughs> Am I going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree? Me, I'm talking. <laughs> oh great, stop the presses the when went back wants to talk. Okay, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? By whom? Maybe it was an Edgeworth who told her not to talk. Is it Gumshoe? Well, testify. Okay, what is going on? Okay, Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they, said they had nothing to do with it, see? So, they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But you're going to go accusing me? I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Well, who is this person? I'm kind of surprised that none of them have been talking about their assistant. <laughs> you could also be a suspect, right? This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? And you been listening? They told me to shut my trap and I always do what I'm told. Yeah, but this is the trial. <laughs> no, this isn't a bad dream. Your Honor, witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. We have to know, it's this person. Where are these people? Well, the director and the producer for starters. Yeah! You should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run through of their actions in the director? <laughs> I didn't know one was asking that before going to the trial! <laughs> Don't limit the, uh, the suspect pool yet! <laughs> Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? 
the director was in the employee area all morning for the road crew. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, it's in the studio too! I thought that place is abandoned. Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. Go through the gate and all the way to the left. Okay, the path where the monkeys had fallen over. Well, this is alright, we'll have to continue the cross examination. Yeah. Hold on, uh, I want to hear more. It's all back. This is a trial for murder. I know that silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Oh my god. So you got your bonus and you still talk. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Be really? Still need the names. I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. So they were actually in the studio. Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. <laughs> Edgeworth is losing his school. <laughs> I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost, she really left him hanging on this one. If you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot free. learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and er, some bigwigs were all present, so there were a lot of people. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbad, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. <laughs> Edgeward really didn't prepare much, did he? <laughs> I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all, the court is adjourned. I was trying to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Oh, or should I? We'll be going down to the studio to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So, Nick. Have you figured out just who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag, I feel kinda sorry for her. <laughs> but she wasn't winning any points in there with or without my accusation. 
Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks, thanks guys. And that's it. That's the first trial for this chapter. <laughs> Okay, I know I said that um, if the trial ends a little earlier, maybe I'll play some more games, but <laughs> sadly, it's starting to rain, it's starting to rain pretty heavily uh, at where I am today, <laughs> where, I, where I am now, so the, the connection is bound to get to get worse actually I'm scared that the stream might be cut off suddenly so I'll finish this little bit here and then I'll end the stream <laughs> Whew, what a day it's no time for relaxing Nick say you think BP's got a chance I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial the director and producer. <clears throat> Oops, my voice is kind of dying. <laughs> Let me hydrate. Yep. <laughs> yeah, them. Well, what are we going to? What are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios. Okay. So. the next stream uh maybe not tomorrow well the next ace attorney stream i will start the um, i will start start uh the next investigation and the last trial for this chapter okay sadly i have to end the stream earlier tonight because it's starting to rain just like i said <laughs> And when it's raining, the connection is usually getting pretty bad. Okay, so... Um, that's it for tonight's stream. Thank you so much for... For anyone who's joining me tonight. Makasih Arte Prensia tadi sama Abi juga udah... Join stream malam ini. <laughs> Maaf ya, nggak bisa lama-lama. Soalnya gara-gara hujan. Biasanya hujan kalau koneksi jadi langsung jelek. Takutnya ntar streamnya tiba-tiba keputus. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll be able to stream tomorrow mo tomorrow night. Yeah, it's Monday, so I don't really have much to do on Monday usually, but who knows? <laughs> okay, I hope I'll see you again. Hope I can see you guys again tomorrow night. <laughs> Ya, yeah, sampai jumpa besok. Makasih Abi udah nonton. <laughs> Makasih udah join stream aku malam ini. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so that's it. <laughs> uh, uh, good night and bye-bye. <laughs> Gak apa-apa. <laughs> Gak apa-apa, I appreciate the lurkers. <laughs> okay, good night, guys. <laughs>